So the number one reason that piriformis syndrome happens is because some of the muscles in your hips and or low back aren't working as well as you'd like them to. And piriformis is an overachiever in that it's the first one to go, hey, me, I volunteer, I'm gonna do this for you, I got you. So if you keep stretching and you're like, nothing's happening, it keeps occurring, it's this chronic, that's why. It's because um, the missing piece could be finding those muscles that aren't working as well as you'd like them to and strengthening those so that they can do their job and piriformis doesn't have to do their job for them. And now I know you're wondering, which muscles are those? And for everyone, they are different. For everyone, it's a different kind of movement that's really bugging you the most. Um, so there's a little bit of troubleshooting there and finding what is happening in your movement patterns. But I will tell you that um, almost 100, well, no, 100% of the people um, I know of with piriformis syndrome have a weak glute medius. So I'm gonna show you a stretch for your piriformis, a tensile stretch called Fossey. Um, there. So we'll step out at a 45 degree on one foot and prop up the other foot behind for a little support. As you kind of curtsy bow into your hip, you wanna stick your hip out a lot and then twist over. And then go to my profile where all my videos are and find the ones about glute medius. And that will give you a start on your road to recovery.